Oh man. Uh, shut up, Prophet Valen. Oh god. What are we doing? Why am I here? Why am I doing this? Damn it all. Well, what up, friends? Welcome back to Ventus, and welcome to World of Warcraft. Ben, what the fuck are you doing playing World of Warcraft? Well, I'll tell you what I'm doing playing World of Warcraft. I'm doing my dailies. That's what I'm doing. And, you know, I, I've honestly missed the hell out of this game. It's probably easily one of my favorite games uh, out of all the games I play. And I'm back because it is a free weekend, so I have not yet resubbed. Um, but I did make a quip on uh, Facebook that I have already submitted to giving my soul back to Blizzard uh, for pretty much the remainder of my life. And uh, yeah, it just it is what it is. And here's the thing: like it's a free weekend. I'm back. I'm just trying things out. I'm seeing how things are going, and like just uh, it's it's easy mode right now. And the thing is, like, I used to be the person that was like, ah, man, I hate how easy they made World of Warcraft. And then I read a really good point that someone made. And it was, you know, World of Warcraft is a lot easier than it used to be. It's less time-consuming. Granted, it's still super time-consuming if you commit to it. Um, and the whole point is, like, World of Warcraft kind of grew with the people that it started with. And for the people that have been playing for a long time, it was like, yeah, we, we put in hundreds and hundreds of hours, literally hundreds of hours, um, trying to achieve things, trying to do things. And now those things can be done in a matter of a few hours, or like eight hours, ten hours, you know. It's not going to take you a hundred days to do something anymore. Which is cool, because as we've grown, we've gotten less and less time in our lives. You know, you're starting a job, you're having relationships, you're doing whatever you need to do to be a responsible adult, and World of Warcraft has kind of just streamlined the experience for you so that you don't have to spend all day sitting here playing this. Um, but then, you know, you sit there and you're like, oh, hey, I have 12 characters that I could play and do the exact same thing on, but play differently. Yeah. Anyways, this is... I don't know what this video is going to be. It's just going to be a chat through why I'm here, what I'm doing. Oh my god, I'm being shot at by that thing. It's chasing me. Um, oh, my dog. My puppy. And he's alive again. So yeah, um, as you can see, I'm a total nub. Because uh, I'm still running around on my mount. Uh, instead of flying, which... I don't have unlocked yet because I quit WoW a year and four months. So a year and four months. That's how long it's been since I played World of Warcraft. And uh, I don't know. I mean, at some point I'm probably, probably going to commit and be like, oh yeah, I'm back and I'm going to play and do all this stuff. And but the reason is, like, why I keep coming back to this game, and what draws me to this game, even though it's, like, the same gameplay, the same mechanics, the same, you know, boss fights, the same things, you know, because you sit there and you, like, do new bosses, you're like, oh, this is, like, that fight from, you know, Burning Crusade, or this is that boss fight from, um, you know, Wrath, or whatever. And, and the thing is, it's, like, this game's story is just so captivating. Like, I will say that when I play my main character here, Panic, uh, which I've had panic for over a decade, 12 years, no, more than that, 2005, five, so 13 years I've had panic, played on and off, and he's been my main, and it's just something where it's like, y you kind of, uh, it's hard to explain if you're not a gamer, but you kind of really bond with your character, like, it's this thing, like, my pets, you know, I have Fenrir here, and it's like, he's been with me since Warlords, and this is a new addition, my little mechanical sheep, granted he's supposed to be a spirit wolf, but I made him a mechanical sheep, because why not? Why not have a mechanical sheep? Um, and it's just a story that captivates you, because it's, it's a constantly changing world. It's never stagnant, it's never still, it's just always changing and doing just everything possible to keep you interested and I will say the thing that really really got me into World Warcraft lore was reading one of the books and that was 
Uh, the second book by Christine Golden, um, Warlord of the Clans. Let's see, let me look it up really quick. Warlord of the Clan Warcraft book. Lord of the Clans is what the book was. And it told the story of Thrall. It was a prequel like. to World of War, or that, Warcraft 3, um, the RTS game before it came out, and again before World of Warcraft came out. And it just, it really captivated me to see the story uh, well, about right Thrall now, and how he was an orc and an orphaned and, you know, becoming this servant to humans to show that, you know, they could, um, keep orcs in line kind of deal. And his journey of meeting Doomhammer and just doing all this stuff and becoming the, you know, war chief for the Horde and bringing them together. And then you get to play through a lot of that in Warcraft 3. And so, I mean, I highly recommend... I'm not a reader. I hate reading. Reading sucks. I, if you're a child, you should read because it's good for you. Um, and when you're an adult, you can make the choice to either read or not read. That's your call. But as a child, I'd say I recommend reading. Um, but yeah, you just it's just that thing where you're like... This is amazing. This is really, really amazing. Oh, how do I do this? I have no idea how to use that thing. Oh, you know what? You know what? I bet. Ten bucks. Um, anyways, like, it, it's just, it's a very captivating story. And it's that thing where it's like, it's not a new game, it's not, you know, um, it, it's not a different, well, technically it's a different story every time, but it's a building story. Like, the way you look at World of Warcraft is, like, every year that passes in World of Warcraft is one year in real world as well. So it's not like when Cataclysm came out, we just jumped 20 years. No, it was like, hey, this it's only been a few years, and this is what's happening. Um, and they just build upon that. And you get to see all those things and progress and see the land change. Like, look at the map. Like, if we look at the map here, Broken Isles used to not exist. Pandaria used to not exist. Northern used to not exist. It used to just be Kalimdor and Eastern Kingdoms. And then you look at how things have changed. Like, we could pull up a map of how Kalimdor used to be. There used to just be the Barrens, not Northern Barrens or Southern Barrens. But all this landscape has changed because of the Cataclysm and the flooding. And, like, it's just, it's super cool. Because it's like, what game does that? What game is so ongoing that it could just massively, okay... Yeah, now I'm thinking, you're like, oh, Fortnite does it. Yes, Fortnite does it, but Fortnite is still, for some damn reason, in early access. And, like, dude, just release your game already. You're not in early access. You're on Season 3. Gonna be on Season 4 here shortly. Like, why the hell do you have seasons in early access? That makes zero sense. Anyways, end rant. I'm just gonna get back to talking about World of Warcraft. But here's the thing that I also look at with Warcraft, is, like, you play World of Warcraft, and everything that a modern game does today... World of Warcraft has been doing for such a long time. And you're like, wait, what? And it's like, look, World of Warcraft was one of the first games to put out, um, you know, buying in-game content for money, like real money. And, well, I'd say Blizzard, you know, it's like, hey, spend money and get this and that, and they were really against doing it, and then, you know, you look at all the other things with DLCs and all that stuff, and it's like, a lot of the things they do you know, spawned other people to do it, like loot boxes. Loot boxes were kind of a mobile thing, they kind of added it into Overwatch, and then it's like, oh, well, it's cosmetic only, and yada yada yada, and, you know, just everyone jumped in, and everyone committed to it. And I was like, alright, yeah, that's, that's how this is gonna go. And I think I need, oh, I think those are the portals I need. And I think this is a world boss, right? That's why he's purple, because he needs to be a raid, and hey, he's there. And yeah, you just, you know, you play, you see the changes, and you just progress the story, and you love these characters, you see the changes of these characters, and you're just like, oh, don't do this to this character, or you, like, really, really hate characters, like, um, Gary, you know, Garam, or, Garamash? Jesus, I, Garash, there we go, Jesus, I cannot think of his name for some damn reason. Um, and you just sit there, and you're like, you really hate that character when you meet him. And, like, you continually build upon this hate for the guy, and you're just like, ah, damn. And then he became an enemy, um, you know, for you to fight and defeat. And it's just that progressing story, and it's just amazing. 
and now you're like looking at Jaina and everyone's like, you know, she's a dreadlord or whatever the hell the rumor is, and they're like, no, she's not a dreadlord. And like, here's the thing, like you read the books, you play World of Warcraft, or not, damn it, I keep doing it, Warcraft 3 and Frozen Throne, and you're just like, Jaina's a really cool character, you know, she's one of the few humans who's like, there's something bigger here, and you know, we need to not be so petty in regards to whatever happens, and then you look at the things that she's done after everything that happened to her, you know, on Theramore Isle, and it's like, you know, she's got every damn right to be pissed off, but at the same time, she has went through a drastic change, and it's just, like, damn, dude, damn. But yeah, we're back. I'm playing, I'm just, I'm ranting, I'm talking about why I'm here, what I'm doing, and I'm just, I'm trying to get my flying up, I'm trying to get, you know, my quest done, I need to finish this damn giant quest line on the side, and every one of these damn things is just its own thing, and I've got to go through it, and all these things are up, and I'm going to go kill them, and yeah. But that's just the thing. Like, if you're, if you're someone who's like, oh, I've always wanted to try World of Warcraft, but I'm always nervous because, like, you know, it's one of those games, and people are like, oh, you play World of Warcraft? Haha, <laughs> what a loser, blah, blah, blah. Hey, you know what? If you want to play World of Warcraft, go for it. That's what I say, because it's a super fun game. You meet tons of friends. Like, look at, I have fucking 21 people on right now, and one, two, three, four, five, six of them are playing World of Warcraft right now. Last night I logged in, there was 40 people logged in, and like half of them playing World of Warcraft. Because it was a free weekend, everyone's just jumping in to see, hey, what's changed, what's new, what's not new, what do I hate about this again, what am I going to love about this game again, and that's just what we're all doing, and like, yeah. Mm, we just killed it. I'd say check your map, dude. Yeah, go check your map. I don't know when he's... Anyways, so, like, you know, just do you. And, like, I will say when I was in high school, I played World of Warcraft. I didn't really tell people I played World of Warcraft, but I did. And then you kind of, like, you get older, you go to college, and I just, I didn't have time to play. And so I kind of stopped playing because I knew if I kept playing World of Warcraft, I would have probably dropped out of college. And that would have been really, really bad. And, uh... Then you start working, you start meeting people, and you start talking to people, and they're like, Oh yeah, dude, I love World of Warcraft. And you're like, you play World of Warcraft? You don't even seem the type to play World of Warcraft, uh, Wade. Um, like, that baffled me. I was like, wow, you really play World of Warcraft? That's actually really cool. And, uh, yeah, so you make tons of friendships through this game. Just, just oddly enough, you, like, sit there and you're like, Wow, you play World of Warcraft? That's actually really badass, and we should play sometime. And that's what really got me back into World of Warcraft, and, you know, I, obviously it caused me a lot of stress near the end there because it was just not the right people. You, you do meet some assholes every now and then, but overall, most of the people I've met have been pretty fucking awesome in regards to uh, World of Warcraft. And there's all these people, and I just ran into a bunch of shit. And yeah, um, been ranting 13 minutes. Um, I think I'm probably gonna, like, do a series where I level up my characters, because I still have a lot of stuff. I had such goals and such ambition when playing World of Warcraft, because it, like, focused me and it drove me to do things and, like, get my mind off stuff. And then other days I just sit here mindlessly thinking about stuff like I'm doing right now, and playing, because it's, again, super easy. As you see, I'm not really struggling to play at the moment, but I'm also kind of OP, not as much as other people. I mean, I'm 900 eye level. Which, you know, was months of time, hours, I mean, ugh, okay. If you never really ever want to hate yourself and you've been playing World of Warcraft, don't ever do this. Hey, look at that! 232 days, that doesn't seem right. That's not right. That's a wrong number. Why is that a wrong number? Maybe I'm not remembering anyways. But, <laughs> think about that. That's 232 days, 6 hours, 46 minutes, 33 seconds. Let me pull up a calculator really quick. 232 days times, and that's 24 hours in a day. That is 5,568 hours that I've committed to World of Warcraft. Think about that. On average, on average, like... I game a lot, like, a lot, and, you know, now that, like, uh, gaming addiction's a thing, like, fuck that, gaming addiction's not a thing, you guys are just, like, dumb, like, 
Like, I have no problem. I'm an adult. I work. I have a income. I'm supporting myself. I eat when I'm hungry. Unless I'm depressed, then I'm, like, starving myself. Because, hey, why not? Because it is what it is. Anyways... I was gonna go with this and I was trying to try and keep it short just kind of why I'm back and what I'm doing and yeah I'm I'm not back back but I'll probably be back soon because the expansion's about to drop I need to finish this story and you know if this is the game that I'm gonna play this is the content I'm gonna make and obviously I'm gonna try and keep up and play other games as well because I want to play other games as well and uh, keep you know a variety of content and I've been debating about like oh well I have my um, panic social media, or do I just split off and stuff to that? And I'm like, you know, until I actually have a, an audience, as they say, I'm probably just gonna stick to doing just the, oh, god damn it, is he up there? He's up there, somewhere, and I gotta, damn it! There's another one up there? He's dead. This is why I need flying, because he's dead, and I don't know how to get up there. Ah. Oh. You damn it. I was, like, seconds away. Oh, man. Man. Alright, now I gotta go to the other ones. Um. God, I should just keep getting stuck on crap. Ah! I don't remember these maps and all this stuff, and like, this is annoying. I'm, I'm, I'm legit stuck in a hole. Oh my god, I'm legit stuck in a hole. And I'm being attacked. And he did. Uh, let's see if this will get me out. Uh, I can't use it because I'm in combat. What do you mean there's nothing to attack? What's attacking me? Okay. Uh. Trinkets, toys, oh. all the goods to save my ass. Apparently he's still in there, kind of, maybe, I don't know, maybe if I can just go up here and in there and just see what happens, and I know those guys are probably going off and doing their thing and yada yada yada. Oh, I'm just ranting. Um, but yeah, content will be coming up and we'll see because it's just... You know, it is what it is, and I like World of Warcraft, and I recommend people try it and give it a shot, and if it's not your jam, it's not your jam, and, you know, nothing against that, it's just not what you like, but it's something that I like, and it's something that is fun, it's fun for me to play with friends, I can play with tons of friends, you know, we're no limitation on how many people I can play with, um, well, 40, I guess, would be the limitation, but even then, it's like, you know, we're, if we're gonna go raid stuff, like, you don't even need 40. 25, max. And we got pretty damn close near the end there. That was awesome. It was awesome! Stop being busy, object. I just want my stuff out of you. Uh -huh. Ah. Anyways, guys, if you enjoyed this rant of me talking, uh, like I said, I'm probably gonna put out a series of me leveling up my characters, going through the story. And I know it's all old, you know? Like, I'm not, I'm not gonna sit here and lie to you. This content's old. This game, this expansion's been out for almost two years, I think, if I am thinking through all this correctly, and yeah, if, you, if you're interested in those videos, you've probably watched them and stuff, and like, I'm just doing it because I want to do it, and maybe you'll enjoy it. So if you enjoyed this, please consider liking, subscribing, and sharing, because there's more to come. And again, I'm not, I'm not abandoning other games, or at least I hope I'm not going to abandon other games, because I will say when I was heavy into raiding, I did abandon like every other game and I was buying games left and right and not playing them. That's why I have a giant backlog of games. So yeah. But yeah, call me out on it. If you want to see other content, you want to see more of this content and the expansions coming up here shortly and I'm excited, dude. I'm super excited because it's going to be fun getting back to the roots of hating the Alliance and so forth and so on. And yeah, it's going to be a blast. So sit back, relax and enjoy. Enjoy the ride. So, with that, I'm gonna quit rambling, and I'll see you guys next time.